We are thrilled to welcome you on the Hard Reset YouTube channel and today I'll show how you can set up this Eufy Indoor Cam E220 or Eufy Indoor Secure Camera. Alright, you will need to take your phone, uh, download the Eufy Security app and register your Eufy account. We have a video on how to do all of those steps, so check it out if you are experiencing any issues with them. Now just launch the Eufy security app on your phone, then take your, well, uh, camera and plug it to power using the included charging wire and charging brick. Give me a sec here, let me untangle it real quick. So insert the USB end of your wire into the charging block or charging brick or charging adapter, then put it into the power socket or just uh, plug it into power to put it in other words. So get, let me do it myself real quick. So as you can see, the camera has been powered on successfully. Now it will, you know, wake itself up, calibrate if necessary, enter the pairing mode and all of those things. So let's wait for this process to be finished and to wait until the camera becomes ready to be paired or to be connected. It seems like it is now, so inside the UFI security app, go into the devices section, tap at the add device button, here choose the wired camera option, then find this camera, that is the indoor cam pen and tilt, as far as I can see it should be this one, 2K, yep. Select what home you would like to add it to. Follow those instructions. Here you can either scan the camera's QR code from underneath or do it or enter the QR code code manually since that is the QR code, that is the code that it represents. I'll just go ahead and scan it just for the process to be easier. Uh, now you will need to enter the setup mode uh, or put your camera into the setup mode. So at its back you have the setup button. So press and hold it for two seconds. Once you hear the beep, the distinct, distinct beep, uh, let your finger off the button, then tap at the heard beep but, but, uh, option here. Then uh, grant the app with Bluetooth access. Now select the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network you would like for a camera to be connected to. I'll go with this network, for example, then enter the network password. Connecting to the Wi-Fi network, please wait. Now wait for your camera to connect to a Wi-Fi network. Make sure that you entered the uh, correct Password, of course. I might be afraid that I didn't. So let me double check what is the password to the Wi Fi Setup network. Was successful. Or actually, it went through, you know. Okay. Yep, it went through, so I've entered the correct Wi Fi password. So here, the camera has been added. Now let's go next, select what or assign the room in which you would like for your camera to be inside your home. You can add any custom room if you want to, but I'll just put it into the uh, living room here, for example. Now select what uh, notification mode you would like for your camera to be in. I'll just go with the most efficient. Then enable or disable mic or audio recording respectively to, well, for the camera to fit your preferences and needs. Insert an SD card if you have one, or you can just, well, skip the step or enable the cloud storage. But, well, you should know that obviously cloud storage is not free. You'll have to buy the subscription in order to have an access to the cloud storage. So, yeah, that's up to you. Here, select where you uh, plan to mount the camera or where you have already mounted it. 
uh, on the table shelf, on a wall or on the ceiling. I'll go with table shelf here. Then make sure that the recommended parameters and settings are met and I mean recommended requirements are met. By the way, any of those uh, setup steps, you can skip them if you want to. So follow the instructions and now the setup of the camera is finished. We can now look at its feed here and see that it works perfectly fine. The latency is also not too bad as you can see. So that'll be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for your attention and bye bye.